23 Cage Legacy 12, and I'm here with the victorious Mr. John Bird. Hello, Mr. John. How are you doing? Doing good, thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, feel good. Feel good. Good fight. This belt looks good on you, so you must feel really great. Sixth belt. That's my sixth belt now, so I feel really good. Like, um, that was a very, a very tough fight. I knew he was going to be a very tough opponent. I mean, he's um, he's racking them up lately. You know, he's eight and one coming in here, and I knew the deck was stacked against me. And I knew he was trying to use me as a stepping stone. But if anybody wants to use me as a stepping stone, they want to step very fucking hard. Do you know what I mean? I'm not an easy match for anybody. And I'm a tough motherfucker, that's what I am. And the game plan, did everything go as according to plan? No, it never, it never does, it never does. I'm a bit reckless in there. But um, as my coach says, John Kavanagh, you know, um, he always says to me, even when I'm sparring, he goes, come on, bring it, do, do what you're good at. Contr uh, controlled chaos, he calls it. You know what I mean? Um, that's what I'm good at. I'm, get, I'm good into. Uh, I'm good getting into these wild exchanges. But um, that's what he says. You know, controlled chaos. And uh, I'd like to think I demonstrated that tonight. And I felt my hands were okay. Now I'd have to watch it back. But um, I was a bit more confident in it tonight, letting them go. But once I grab hold of somebody, once I grab hold of somebody, they're fucking going down. And that, that's. I was a bit wary of his ground game. You know, whatever fucking height he is, seven four four. You know, I was a bit wary of his, uh, his triangle chokes and stuff yeah. like that. But, um, you know, I gritted it out tonight, yeah. and that's exactly what I needed to, to get me back in the win column. And I'm going to fuck keep him going. You know, tw tonight was my 20th amateur fight. You know, I'm around this game a long time now, and I don't plan to stop it anytime soon. I haven't eaten heat my peak yet. So, I'm so what's the future from here? Oh, who the fuck knows? Like, you know, I have no idea. I'm going to go home, and I'm going to fucking chill out. I'm going to relax with my girlfriend for a few days. And, uh, you know, just I'm going to get back into the gym next week, do a bit of training and just just enjoy, just enjoy myself. Immediate future plans. I don't know. Whoever wants it can come get it. Whoever wants it can come get it. I'll take on anybody, you know. I'd like to get maybe another fight in uh, the UK or something like that. Um, slightly different rules over there the day before I weigh in and uh, drop back down to 70 kilos. Or, um, I don't know, maybe my next fight's going to be my first professional fight, you know what I mean? I've racked up enough ring time now over uh, 20 amateur fights so uh, who knows what the future holds but I tell you it's going to be interesting it always is with me yeah we can't wait to see what's ahead of you and what's next congratulations on thank the super much. lightweight thank you very much thank you super so much super lightweight champ super six lightweight times. champ six times the belt collector get that again there we go six times, six times the belt collector <laughs> thank you thank you so much John Please.